This performance, Halloween, I Want You Under My Skin, is a performance, it's a workshop, actually. And it's a work in progress. I have invited um, seven different persons, and I asked them to um, choose a national identity or ethnicity which is not their own. And um, I asked them to choose it from fascination rather than, no, yeah, uh, a national ethnicity or identity that they were fascinated um, about. Tot? Tot? Yeah. Yeah. She is um, right now being, um, yeah, she will be a British person. And um, there's Luna, she will be transformed to an Aboriginal. <coughs> and Maika, she will be uh, transformed to a French. And Björn uh, wants to be an Arab. And Lena is going to be transformed as um, a Finnish gypsy, a Roma. And um, Simon is going to be transformed as a Rush, Russian. And Romain is going to be transformed as a Cuban. And I will also transform to something. Um, as um, the audience, I would actually um, would like you to participate in the workshop. So you're welcome to, to comment on the different themes and the, the situation that is going to happen now. So, so what are you going to do um, to look like a British person? And why did you um, choose to be a Brit? Um, I'm very fascinated by British, British people because of the accent and the looks. They are ginger. They've got freckles and really, really bad <laughs> That's right. And, and, and um, so you're going to fix your nose? Or why, why is this? Because um, it's kind of supposed to be a Victorian nose because the British have a British nose. Actually, you can speak Swedish if you're in the phone. But we are often very close to the Victorians, and we are pretty fit when we are on the bus. We are very little nose, and therefore we are sure. Britain is a country of mixed cultures, and uh, London has the largest non-white population of any European city. And there are 250 languages are spoken in London, and therefore all British people are not white or Christians. So the language which is spoken in, in the, the UK is, is English. Um, there is a common stereotype about the English. Um, people say that people think the English are no good at learning foreign languages and have the attitude that if they yell loud enough in English, the foreigners will eventually understand them. The beefy and yeoman of the guard um, is a very um, important, um, very British um, outfit that we all know. I think, I'm not sure if gypsies really are wearing these kind of clothes today or not, we'll get back to that. And um, right now, um, Luna is going to be, um, she's gonna be a, an Aboriginal. And I, originally, um, Aboriginals, they didn't wear any clothes. Did they? They were all as like body painting, um, beer, moustache, or a little more masculine. They look very masculine. <laughs> <laughs>
Syria, Tunisia, United Arab Emirates, and Yemen. And some Arabs there also actually are Israeli citizens. And um, there's like American and French, they're very competitive to each other. So I found some very typical um, representations of where I compare the American and French. Well, the Americans are highly explicit. The French are highly implicit. While the Americans are optimist and positive, the French are pessimist and negative. The Americans think that a contract is not linked to the relationship. And the French think that the contract is wrongly associated with the relationship. What about the, there's also something mean about stereotyping, I think, and um, yeah, and um, why do you think we need this? Do you have any suggestion? Det är 